The World Dog Show is finally here. Let's learn about FCI, the World Dog Show, and of course, root for our two favorite toy breed dogs, Icaros and Kelly, as they stake their claim in Shanghai, China. Welcome to episode eight of my I have no idea how many episodes I'm going to get out of the plethora of footage from this amazing trip to China series, so be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. Before I share the adventures of our two days at the show, I thought perhaps I would explain exactly what the World Dog Show is. Some in the United States might not be very familiar with FCI and this amazing event that they hold once a year. FCI stands for Federation Chronologici Internationale, I think. Basically, I totally suck at different languages, but I will tell you FCI in English means World Canine Organization. It was founded in 1911 by Germany, Austria, Belgium, France, and the Netherlands. It is comprised of a bunch of national kennel clubs divided into three sections. The Americas and the Caribbean, Asia, Africa, and Oceania, and Europe. The FCI recognizes 349 breeds which are country specific. The owning country of the breeds writes the standards of the breeds and that is what is used to judge all dogs and of course to guide breeders on how to breed the top quality dogs in their program. Of course, I immediately took a look at my breed, the Chihuahuas, to see if there was any difference in their standard. Oh yes, there was. And I recommend anyone from the United States wishing to show their dog at an FCI show to please do the same. The next major difference I saw was that the breeds are broken down into 10 different groups. They are numbered and organized by group name, and my breed being in group 9, which happens to be companion and toy dogs. Their big show of the year, of course, is the World Dog Show, which was held for the very first time in 1971 in Budapest. Budapest, Hungary. They are normally like four to six day long international shows and it's deemed the most important dog show in the world. It includes not only confirmation but junior handling, agility, obedience, as well as other events and demonstrations. Dogs who win any of the categories are awarded the title world champion. It is held in a different country every year with some being very luxurious and romantic. Yes, this year was Shanghai, China, but the year before it was in Amsterdam and next year it's in Madrid, Spain, and then the Czech Republic in 2021 and then Brazil in 2022. So hello sponsors, I would like to go. I have a passport now. So speaking of Shanghai, I will say getting into the building here has been a completely different experience every day. I really don't know what's going on. It's like insane. Now they're looking at paperwork and the line is huge. Oh my God. And as I've said in previous episodes, we have to make the mad dash every morning to regain our grooming spot by starting in the lineup outside the door, which has finally changed to a covered area, but it is still monotonous. At least during the wait, we get to meet awesome people and they're amazing dogs. Even though I had been there a full two days for dog shows at the Expo Center, I can tell you that the entire room felt different once the actual world dog show started. There was so much more excitement in the air. Tensions were high, but everyone seemed to wear a smile because, yeah man, we're at the world dog show. <laughs> My job for the next two days was bucket bitch. And no, I didn't mind. That meant I got to run around the building and get lunch, get coffee, buy catalogs, which was getting very expensive. And of course, schlep stuff. It's all good though, because I got to do it in Shanghai, China. Thank you very much. I love you, buddies. Kelly was first to take his trip around the ring and the competition was a very steep. Amazing Pomeranians displayed from all over the world. Seriously, the number and the quality was Stellar. He definitely got a lot of attention and he showed his little heart out. He did so amazing and Dolly handled him with such grace. It was awesome to watch. I was so proud of both of them. I know Mr. Aban as well as his breeder Anjali were very proud as well. Ikaro showed on day two of the World Dog Show and he was a little rock star. I am not naive to the world of dog showing, but I'm going to keep my personal opinions to myself on the judging in the Chihuahua ring. I made my very first attempt to do a live video on Facebook and that failed miserably, but it was going so quickly, honestly, you didn't miss a thing. I guess the Chihuahua world should thank me for being blocked in a communist country. Thank you very much. Now, I will say the most amazing part of day two was that I got to venture outside of the Expo Center and find Starbucks that come to find out on the last day we are here is only 15 minutes away. That would have been awesome to discover like, oh, I don't know, five days earlier. 
but it is what it is. And I got to not only feel the sun on my body for the first time since I arrived on this continent. It's a miracle. There's no smog. Holy crap. It's like real sun. They do have blue sky here. It's not a myth. I finally got to get my Starbucks Shanghai mug, but I also got to meet an amazing young woman all the way from Russia while we waited 30 minutes for them to brew coffee. Yes, 30 minutes to brew a cup of coffee. So, show me what you do. Uh, what's with that? Horses. Let me see your horses. One minute, please. Yeah. Oh. My horse. Beautiful. Champion. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. She made it all worth the wait, though. I will say our final day in Shanghai was a bittersweet one. I had such an amazing time at the World Dog Show, as well as exploring the sights of this amazing city. I was sad to see it end. I have met so many amazing people that have forever changed my life. The memories I made here will be entrenched in my mind until the day I die. And if I was blocked from Apple News and anything related to the United States, this was still the trip of a lifetime an experience of a lifetime. One I hope I get to experience in Madrid next year. <laughs> in the next episode of this series, I'm going to share a few of the tourist places we explored in Shanghai, as well as Wuhan on our final days in China. Blow on my balls. Blow on your balls. There will also be a sneak peek into some of the food we devoured. This in China. Cheers. What? I don't like beer. <coughs> yes, I'm keeping my promise. I will wrap things up with the requested Food of China episode. Until then, thanks for the awesome memories, World Dog Show. 